Oh, forward and up. Uh-oh. Welcome back to another Run Bike Mike video. I'm Mike, and if this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. Today, I wanna to go over the DJI Mini 2 Fly More Combo. Let's get to it. Hold on, that is an awesome shirt. By the way, I make custom trail map shirts. If you guys are interested in these, check out my Teespring store below. If you don't find the trail that you like, just message me and I'll see if I can create it for you. So if you've been to my channel before, you know I love action cameras. And one of the action cameras that I've been missing from my collection of action cameras is a drone. The DJI Mini 2 seems to come in at a pretty good price for somebody who is just trying to learn how to do drone footage. So the first thing you'll notice whenever you get the Fly More package is you get this really nice bag that it comes in. And then it comes with an adjustable strap, which is really cool. You've got some pockets up front to store extra goodies like SD cards, things like that. As you guys can see, there's all kinds of different things in here. We'll start off with, of course, the drone, and then you get the controller. And in the Fly More pack, you get a battery charger with three batteries and you'll get a USB-A to USB-C cable with a charging block. But then you also get, in this top package, you get a screwdriver and some extra little knobs for your controller. And then you also get the propellers and that's what you'll use that screwdriver for. One thing that I really appreciate is with the DJI Mini 2, you get this really nice little strap that goes around it. This was kind of a new thing for the Mini 2. The Mini 1 did not come with this. And this basically keeps your blades in place. They're not just flopping around while it's in the case. You don't have to worry about bending them or breaking them whenever you have that around it. But the Mini 2, it's, it's pretty small. I was actually shocked at how small this really is and how light it actually is. It's only 249 grams, which keeps it in that safe zone that you don't have to register it with the FAA. But with this, you get a little protector that goes over the camera and the gimbal so you won't damage it. And uh, then on the back, you're gonna have a little spot that you can put the battery in, an SD card, and then if you wanted to charge the battery, you've got a USB-C plug right there. On the bottom, you're gonna have two sensors that will help you not run into the ground, and also it helps it assist with the landing. And then you have your power button and battery indicator lights right there. On the controller, it's a little bit more complex. You've got a return to home button, a power button, and then you've got a multi-mode button. So basically think of it as cinematic, normal, and sport. Cinematic being the slowest, most controlled, normal being what they typically would say, oh, that's the speed that a lot of people like to fly at and then sport if you wanna go a little bit faster, more action packed. But then you also have a function button that you can program to do all kinds of different things. So if you wanted it to do uh, raise to a specific elevation, you can program that function button. And then on the top, you've got your camera button to help you record. And then this button here will rotate and it'll raise and lower the camera on that gimbal. To attach your phone, you just pull up on this and then you've got a cable that is hooked into the controller here, and then this end will plug into your phone. What's really nice is it tucks in there, clips into that side, and then whenever you close this down, there's no hanging wires or anything like that. Also on the bottom, you've got a USB-C for charging, because you do need to charge this. It doesn't have an external battery. And then you've got little joystick nubbins that you can put in there and then it'll let you control the joystick pads. But that's the controller. Now let's take a look at this. This is really interesting, this battery pack. This was new to the Mini 2 and it's not just a charging pack where you can plug in all your batteries and charge it. It'll actually act as a charger for an external device. You've got an output and an input. And if you plug a USB-A cable into this output and then say plug the other end into your controller or into your phone, it'll actually use the batteries that are in here to charge those devices. Really cool feature. They didn't have to do that, but that's a really awesome feature that they added. All right, that's everything you get in the Fly More package. Let's go outside, let's take a little flight with this and show you guys what it was like to fly this for the very first time, having zero experience with a drone and how easy it was for me to get this thing up in the air and take off and start filming. Let's go. Did All it right. just sing? It did sing. It just sing a little song? It's Zelda. All right, so main voyage, 
uh, the DJI Mini 2. I've never flown a drone and <laughs> Chad's here with me to just give me moral support. Here we go, buddy. Look at that. Okay, so the That's camera. That's so cool. It's looking at us. I am so nervous it's about this. It's looking at us, looking at it. All right, it says compass error. Ensure that there are no metal or magnets. Calibrate. Oh, I gotta go rotate the aircraft. Okay. I swear I just heard a drone over there. I thought so too, but I think it's that- <laughs> Drone <team>. war! <laughs> okay, so it's calibrated. Here we go. Which I, one's up? I don't know. There's supposed to be a- <laughs> Hit that button. Oh, take off. Oh, hey, that's Take off. The aircraft will go. automatically take off. Here it goes. This is crazy. Okay. I'm gonna let you get close to it. I'm not gonna move it. Walk <laughs> away just a little bit. Okay, so I've got it in normal mode. It's hard for me to see it. All right, this is up. Whoa! Look at Whoa! That went fast. Look at this. Isn't that awesome looking? Oh, we're flying forward. Oh, forward and up. Uh-oh. Whoa, I was doing that. You were? I don't know how on <laughs> That's really close to the trees, bud. I thought that was gonna happen. <laughs> it looks to have survived. Now that you've seen my crazy first flight and landing, let's take a look at some of the footage I got after a little bit of practice. With a few mess ups and a really bad landing. Overall, I think my first flight with the drone was a success. Since then, I've learned quite a bit about it, and now I understand how to fly it pretty well. I've got a lot to learn, but I'm having fun doing it. And just so you guys know, I'll put some links below to a DJI Mini 2 combo pack that you can pick up on Amazon. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Have you ever flown a drone before? And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It really helps out my channel and my videos will show up in your feed so you don't miss any of them. But as always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one.